Hello everyone, welcome to Morgan Mend. In today's video, we are going to be replacing the clock battery in a Nintendo GameCube. Have you noticed that your GameCube is no longer accurately keeping the date and time? Well, the cause of this would be a dead CR2032 clock battery. In many cases, these batteries are well over 20 years old. So, in order to remedy this issue, today we will be replacing the original CR2032 clock battery in this GameCube. Stay tuned! Now, in order to gain access to the internals of the GameCube, you will need a 4.5mm game bit, and you will also need a PH1 Phillips head bit. This is the set I will be using today. It's an Oriya 125-in-1 toolkit. I will have this linked in the description for anyone interested. Alright, so let's turn this GameCube over and begin to tear down. We will first remove the four 4.5mm four game bit screws that secure the top shell to the bottom of the console. Okay, with all the screws loosened, we can turn this over. We will very gently just lift up on this top shell. Set that to the side. Shake those screws out. Just going to place all this hardware safely. All right, we'll set down the bottom half of the GameCube. The controller port assembly is what we were concerned with. So now, in order to pop this loose, we will just gently pry on these two clips here. That will fold forward, and then we will very gently release this ribbon cable from the motherboard of the GameCube. That's the controller port assembly removed from the GameCube. I'm going to gently place this top shell back on for now, and we can set the rest of the system off to the side for now. All right, at this point, we can remove the controller port PCB from the front plate. These are just two Phillips head screws. And with those two screws removed, the PCB will just lift off of this front plate. Set this to the side. This is the controller port PCB, and right here is the CR2032 clock battery. This is what we will be replacing to restore the calendar functionality of the GameCube. It is soldered directly to the board. When it comes to replacing this battery, you have a couple of options. Number one, you can buy a new CR2032 battery with solder tabs and solder that into the board. Or number two, you can solder in a CR2032 battery socket to make replacement easier in the future. I will be installing the CR2032 battery socket for two reasons. Number one, I have a bunch of them on hand. And number two, as I said earlier, this will make battery replacement much easier in the future. Without further ado, let me get set up here and we will proceed with desoldering the old CR2032 battery from the board. Just to verify that this battery is in fact dead, I'll come in with my multimeter, touch the positive lead to this leg here, negative lead to this leg here, and as you can see, we have less than one volt coming out of that battery. So that battery is in fact dead, so we will proceed with replacement. Alright, let's bring in our helping hands. I've had mixed results with these. Hopefully they'll help us today. Let's get the PCB mounted up. like so. So let's first apply a little bit of flux to the old solder just to help get things flowing. Not going crazy here. All right. Got some flux applied. This right here is my solder fume extractor. It might get a little noisy. I'll try to speak up a little bit. I apologize for the noise, but this stuff gives me a headache. Let me turn that on. I'll keep it as low as I possibly can. Can you still hear me? All right, let's grab our iron. Apply some heat to this pad. Bring in our solder sucker. Suck up the old solder. Heating up the pad again. 
one more time should do it. All right, that should be mostly desoldered. Now for the positive pad, apply some heat. And again. All right, that's the positive leg mostly free. Just come in one more time, do the negative pad. All right, I don't know if you heard that, but the battery is out. There's the old battery, CR 2032. All right, I'll apply a little more flux to the pads. Just a little bit. We'll come in with our soldering wick just to clean these pads up. Mop up all that old solder. Do the same over here. Good. All right, pads looking nice and clean. Those are the pads, nice and clean. Back to the front of the board. This is the battery socket I was referring to earlier. This is a CR2032 battery socket. I'm gonna solder this directly to the board, and this will allow the new battery to be easily replaced in the future. This is the positive side. This will go through the positive through hole on the PCB. Just like so. Make sure the negative lead is in its place. Push that down until it seats against the board. And then back here you see the leads poking through. All right, so now all we have to do is solder that directly to the board. All right, in order to get the socket to remain in position, I'm just gonna slightly bend these over. All right, with the socket now held in place, let's get it mounted back up into our helping hands. All right, let's get some flux on this positive pad. Do quite a bit this time, just to get that solder to flow nicely. Just gonna pre-tin our iron. I'm gonna crank up my fume extractor a little bit. Move that closer to position. All right, let's get this solder to the board. All right, that's the positive leg done. And we'll clean our iron. We'll clean that with a little bit of alcohol. Good. Just gonna unbend this negative leg a little bit. Do the same thing, come in with some more flux. A little more. Come in, heat up the pad. Get it nice and hot. And we'll come in with our solder. Good. Beautiful. All right, and that's the socket soldered to the board. All done. Then we'll just come in with a little bit of alcohol. All right, we can remove this from the helping hands. Soldering is now complete. The socket is soldered to the board. So now we can install the brand new CR2032 battery. All right, and we'll take a fresh Max L CR2032 battery. Again, Max LCR 2032, fresh as a daisy.
and we can install this right into our battery socket like so and that just pops in and that is the brand new CR2032 battery installed onto the controller port PCB. So now the calendar function will be restored. And the GameCube will once again accurately keep the date and time. All right, just to show you what working, I'll bring the multimeter back in. You can see that we now have three volts. Awesome. All right, one final look at the board. The CR2032 battery is fully installed. Oh, I noticed we bent the LED a little bit, so we'll just move that hair back this way. That's better. So with the CR2032 battery socket installed, in the future, when it comes time to replace this battery, all you gotta do is pop it out and pop the new one in, and you're good to go. No more soldering required. Let me show you how easy it is. You just take a flathead bit, pray against that positive clip there, and then pop out the old battery and pop in the new battery. Easy as that. Awesome. All right, moving on to reassembly, we can take the controller port PCB and insert it back onto the front plate, reinstall our Phillips head screw. And the other one. Good. Bring the bottom half of our GameCube back over. And let's go ahead and reinstall this controller port. Let's plug this ribbon cable back into the motherboard. Like so. And we can reattach this front plate to the bottom housing of the GameCube, just like that. Bring in our top shell. Turn this over, get the screws back in, and get this all tightened up. Drop our screws in. And we'll get them all tightened up. Good. All right, the GameCube is fully reassembled, and that is how you replace the CR2032 clock battery inside your GameCube. Going forward, the GameCube will once again accurately keep the date and time when not plugged into power. I hope you found the video to be helpful. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Also, leave a comment down below. I would love to hear from you. And if it's not too much trouble, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Thanks a ton for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.